Hello, good afternoon, everybody. I'm the consultant here. Um, we are basically uh, uh, proposing how we can make use of PPVC project in uh, the current uh, construction industry. Um, we have designed a um, wide range of uh, precast uh, projects in, uh, and involved in many projects before. And now uh, PPVC is about you know modularized system, a unit made out of box, uh, box-like structure and place them uh, on top of each other like a Lego and then assemble the building and then you complete the building, finishing uh, everything inside. So this is a very, uh, 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 I couldn't say new, it's been there for the last five years. And now we are stepping up into uh, delivering more PPVC job. Okay, basically um, what we are doing here is that uh, during the initial stage of the design, uh, PPV when we plan for PPVC job and and the unit layout is done manually and uh, and and it's a tedious process. We're working hand in hand with architects and the requirement of the buyer and the residential unit plan to maximize the gross floor area and minimize the number of modules for the uh, project. So reduce the number of project uh, modules means reduce the number of modules. So, so the moles play a very hefty, hefty cost in the uh, PPVC project. Volumetric moles used to produce concrete finished material for the modules. The moles can cost between 70,000 to 100,000 uh, and take about between three to five months to produce. Uh, maybe next slide. Okay, at the design stage, uh, normally it takes to, uh, six months to, to prepare the entire uh, planning of the PPVC modules. So step-by-step uh, -step measurement is taken uh, in, in getting the right uh, profile of the PPVC. The consultant prepare the drawings and then, um, and then hand over to the PPVC specialist or the supplier to design the, the, the profile of the, uh, the, the module, then determine the group, mold grouping, then summarize the number of moles for the project. And this is eventually passed on back to the consultant to review uh, whether the mold uh, or the modules uh, profile are according to his plan. And then he will make his further comment and redirect back to uh, the PPVC supply to implement the mold. So it goes through various stage uh, of, uh, these are the various stage happen during the construction phase uh, from drawing preparation, uh, to, to make sure that all the drawing details are freeze. And then we will submit the drawing to, once the drawing is freeze, then we send, send the drawing to the mold fabricators to fabricate the mold uh, uh, for the each individual module. The, a, project of, uh, pro, a project can have something like three, uh, between uh, tw 20 moles to as, as high as 90 to 100 moles. That is the volume of moles uh, in, the, in, in the current projects. Next. Okay, basically, uh, we are now looking at the, our challenging is that the stimulation of uh, how we can stimulate the number of moles and reduce the number of moles uh, in, by maximizing the gross floor areas. Based on the plans, the solution will help to determine the mole grouping and the requirement and each of the repetition moles are being used for uh, other units. The proposed solution will create a shared environment uh, for both the consultant and the contractor to view and discuss uh, these uh, updates. Next slide. Expected outcome of solution provide the 3D and the printing service. So generate, evaluate the possible permutation of unit to optimize the number of mole and design study. Uh, of course, the more the mole, the time manpower is uh, it just increases. So at the design stage, uh, we have to make sure that if the only thing that if we can design with a, uh, with a stimulation uh, uh, solution, uh, we can reduce the design stage by about 50%. Next. This is an analysis of a case study, which we, we put up just to show, this is a, uh, the yellow uh, image shows a four room unit. The orange uh, image shows a five room unit and the, the white shaded is a three generation, uh, three generation, three room unit. So uh, if you look at it, this case study, uh, next slide. It shows the number of uh, 
number of modules and number of bowls required. The four room, we have roughly five modules and you need five bowls. For five room, there are six modules and need six bowls. And for three generation or the third generation, uh, three generation unit, it will be seven modules and have seven bowls. So in total, there are 18 bowls required. So this is quite a pretty high number of bowls in, in this particular scenario. Next slide. Um, if, if you look at the, how, how we are proposed to uh, do the optimization in the uh, using of the uh, repetition modes. So uh, next slide. So you can see we have added a, a kitchen unit to the four or uh, three modules of a four room unit. Uh, next slide. And then we have add on to a, another module to uh, the living and the dining to the modules. We add, next slide. That's a four room module. So so now we are we are planning another unit. How we can share some of the uh, bowls. Next. 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 Yes. Uh, look like the image is not complete. If you look at that, um, uh, the slide, there are some error, but uh, anyway, never mind. Because of the sharing of the moles, uh, we can reduce what is 18 moles to 11 moles. You can see this uh, because of the sharing of moles in the five rooms and the three G uh, modules. Uh, sorry, the, the, the slide didn't turn out to be uh, correct. The animation, I think, failed somewhere. But then the reduction is 11, uh, 11 moles only compared to the 18 moles. In this way, we... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. You can go to the next slide. So these are some uh, case study which uh, we want to share. This case study shows for the two room, two room unit, we have four modules. Next, next. Another two room unit, which has uh, again two modules. Next. This is a four, four room and have four modules. Next. And this is another module. You can see five modules. Next. And this is another unit which have a, a larger, uh, larger living room, but combination of modules. Uh, four modules here for this particular larger unit. Next. Okay, in total, if you took look at that, the summary, summary of this slide shows that uh, all the uh, modules put together, uh, we need a total number of mold, 90 number of mold, if I were to use this, this combination. However, if we were to use the stimulation method whereby we co-share some of those, uh, those uh, uh, like bedroom two, bedroom three, with uh, bedroom uh, three and four and five, relatively, we can reduce the mold by quite a substantial percentage, uh, well, uh, more than 30%. The next slide will show you that. Next. Uh, next slide. Next slide. Okay, if you look at it, uh, it uh, because of the sharing, there's, uh, the sharing of the mold resulting in a saving of uh, the mold reduced to uh, 60 moles, uh, 60 moles required against the 90 moles. Uh, again, the summary is not appearing in this slide, uh, but if you add down, uh, it add all together, it will be something like 64 moles. Uh, that is a saving of about, um, saving about more than 30%. And one of the primary cause for the PPVC production is actually the mold cost. It, it, it is quite a heavy uh, cost for the production of PPVC in all projects. So by, by, by using the stimulation method, we can save uh, about 30% for the precast portion on the molds. Uh, that is the end of my uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Bonis. Uh, yeah, uh, so actually uh, your colleague has also uh, uh, created a presentation on this case study uh, where there's no uh, missing uh, component that can be found on our website. So if you want to see that, uh, that uh, animation, uh, you can visit our website to see it also. Uh, my first question uh, is, is that uh, for this solution, this tool, right? 
uh, who would be the user? You mentioned about the consultant and contractor. Would there be different hierarchy level and how, how would we cater the solution for them? The, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, of course, the contractor and the consultant are the main, uh, main user of these this tools. Uh, they are the most, uh, most, uh, most prepared person to handle this. Uh, but but it, is, it, can be, it can be further rendered to subcontractors and developers also. Yes, that's, that's it. Okay, yeah. For, for subcontractor and developers, how would they use the solution? Actually, they they need to know the number of, uh, whether other they, they they want to know the number of moles used for this project whether he wants to participate or not in the tender. So it is it's something uh, it is uh, it is varying from uh, company to company's uh, requirement. Yeah, uh, with that, uh, I just like to proceed to the next share statement. If there's no other questions, uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, joining us to our session to share your insights. We'll be proceeding to the next challenge statement.